Alright, this video I'm going to give a, a Nerf gun product review. Um, I've got, I purchased like almost every Nerf gun out there that you could get. And I want to go through each one and explain the benefits and the advantages of each and what I highly recommend. First I'm going to go off and start off with talking about the Elite Strike um, brand. This is the lower quality brand. I'm just going to go through these first. This this is the brand. This is the um, the line that I don't really recommend. Um, this line uses um, these darts, these blue darts right here. All right, there's a soft end and a tip, and it looks like a blue dart. And these um, are the type of guns that it, you know. This is one of the type of guns that it comes with. This one right here is called a strong arm. Um, you can pretty much load six of them up right here, six bullets, and you push push it here put the bullet back and you chamber it like this shoot out so it's like this and it holds six alright um, what I don't like about these darts is that they get they break easily um, they get dismantled very easily um, you can a lot of people a lot of times it gets stepped on and then pretty much it, it, it is no longer useful alright once it gets stepped on they also don't go that far, um, and they get jammed a lot. All right, even in this one, it gets jammed, and then it just doesn't work. So that's one of the, the worst things about it. The good thing about this is that it makes the firearm smaller, more compact, a little bit more realistic because of because the, the firearm is a little bit smaller. All right, so this is um, the strong arm. This is how it looks. Alright, I don't really recommend this one. Now we got these right here. This is uh, the Triad. Now you got, you can put three bullets here, three bullets, and you pull it down here, and then you shoot. And you pull it, you shoot, pull it, shoot. You can hold three bullets in here. The nice thing about this one is that it's uh, very compact. You can just put in your pocket. It's one of the smallest ones that they got. The nice thing is it's very compact. Alright. Bad thing is for some reason sometimes you put the bullet in there and it keeps popping out and then you can't even use it anymore. So that's one of the bad things that, that I don't like about this one. But it's very compact. Alright. Next one we got right here is another firearm version like a handgun version. Um, it's not as compact as the other one but this one holds three of them, you put two, one here, put another one here, you put one in the main compartment. And it basically only shoots one at a time, you pull the trigger and then you gotta reset and put it back, and pull the trigger again. So you just pull the trigger like this, like that. Once again, I don't really recommend this one because um, I don't like these darts, alright? Alright, so we got that, and then we got um, another one right here. This is one. This one's really a big ripoff. Um, I don't like this one at all. You put the darts in here, and it only holds six darts. All right, this one only holds six of them. So. There's a mechanism here, this gets jammed all the time. Another thing is this one is uh, battery operated, so it uses batteries as well. And then you just like, here, and then you, it's automatic. You know, you shoot it out, but it only holds six. And once again, like I said, as stated, it gets, it gets jammed all the time. I don't like it at all, okay? All right, so now, those are the ones that I have that utilize the darts. Now we're going to go into the ones that utilize the discs. Okay, these are the ones that I like a lot. These discs, it, it looks like this. It's like a foam disc. They go farther. They hurt a little bit more, which I think is a good thing because then it teaches you to get out of the way. And uh, it goes farther and it barely, like, never gets jammed. So these discs are extremely, uh, like, high quality. And they last. Like, even if you step on it, you can still use it. Alright, these discs last really well. They're, they're well well built. I really like it. Alright, so 
Let me see. I just recently got this Vigilon. This is like the handgun version. It holds six of them. It holds six discs. You could pop, pop out it like this and then fill it up. Right? Actually, it holds five, but then you can hold one in the chamber as well. This one is really good. I really like this one a lot. You cock it back like this, and then you shoot it out. You cock it back, you shoot it out. Okay? Um, here, I'll do it one time. You cock it back here. I already cocked it back. You shoot it out like this. So I just shot one out. Now I'm going to reload. Cock it back. Shoot it out again. Okay? So that's how it works. It really it works really well. I really like this one a lot. And then it's quick reload. You just throw it in there. And then you're ready to go. This is very similar to like a real firearm. A handgun. It's, it is big. But it doesn't, it doesn't weigh that much. And it, you hold it just like a real firearm. Alright. So I really like this one a lot. Um, here's another one. Um, this is called a... This is one. This one's called a Lumitron. All right, this is a little bit different color. This one right here. So there's a, a Lumitron version, which comes in this bright color, and then there's another one right here. This one's called the um, Praxis. All right, the only difference really is that the Lumitron comes with this uh, special magazine that that lights up. You know, it lights up, and it makes the, the disc glow in the dark. That's pretty much the only difference, and it doesn't come with a stock. So the Lumitron comes with this special magazine that, that glows in the dark, and it, doesn't, it makes the ammo light up, and it doesn't come with a stock. So that's what a Lumitron is. It works out very well. You essentially just um, you cock it this way, and then you shoot. You cock it. You shoot. Alright? So it works very well. You know, you just take the magazine out. And then you just reload. So, this one works very well. Alright? The Lumitron. But it costs a little bit more money. Alright? The, the Lumitron costs a little bit more money than the, um, than the Praxis. The Praxis is one of the best ones. It's this one right here. Um, it doesn't have glow in the dark discs, but it has, it, you know, it holds 10 of them. And it comes with this stock that can come off. You can take that off if you want and use it like kind of like a shotgun. Or you put it on and then it comes, this is pretty much like, like an AR 15. You know, it just comes like this. Alright, this is kind of like what the police would use AR 15, put the stock on there. And let you shoot this way, all right? Um, you just release right here. You can release the, the magazine, pop it back in there. It holds ten of them, all right. And then um, you cock it. You cock it like this, and then you shoot. Cock it, shoot. All right. So that one's right there. I do highly recommend that one. Uh, the Praxis. The Praxis and the Lumitron are pretty much the same thing. The only difference is the Lumitron has a... Uh, it has glow-in-the-dark ammo. That's pretty much the only difference. And it doesn't come with the stock. Uh, the Lumitron has no stock. Alright? The Praxis is highly recommended. Alright, next one we're going to talk about is... Um, let me see. Got this one right here. This one holds the most discs out of all of them. This one's called a Priagon. This one holds 40 discs. So you basically just like, you cock it like this and then you shoot. Alright? Um, it holds 40 discs. That's one of the main things about it. And what else you could do? You could hold the trigger down and just keep sliding it back and forth and then it just keeps coming out, the discs. So it, it, it shoots very quickly. Alright, so this one right here, um, I do recommend this one as well, but it does cost a lot of money. It costs probably the most out of all of them. Uh, but this one holds 40 discs, and that's the main difference between this and like the, the Praxis, is this one um, holds 10 discs, this one holds 40. Alright, but they shoot around the same type of accuracy. Alright?
Alright, the next one I'm going to talk about is the one I just got yesterday. Um, this one right here is called a Nitron. It comes with this scope right here. It's just basically all for looks. You can put a battery in there and then it lights up. But it doesn't really do anything. You know, it's just all for show. And you put it up here. The difference is, is this magazine right here holds 20. All the other ones just held 10. This one holds 20. So you can put a magazine right here, 20, 20 of them. And then also, if you got an extra magazine, you can also put it here in the, in the rear, like this. So then you can hold this in the rear too, if you had an extra magazine, right? Now, this one is, is very heavy duty. This, the problem with this one is that you need to use um, six batteries, like six C volt batteries, like big batteries. And it's all lined up back here. And this is pretty heavy, but it's very sturdy. Alright, it's very sturdy, but the, another thing is it's automatic. So you see that right there? It's an automatic gun. And it shoots out like um, automatic, like semi-auto. Alright, so the problem is it doesn't shoot out as fast and it doesn't go as long. But, um, you know, it's heavier, it's heavy duty, it requires batteries. The main thing that's nice is that it's 20 this. This one right here is built in. This right here is strong. It's built in. I like that. But the problem is I don't really like how it uses so many batteries. Uh, but it does have 20 this. So that's the nice thing about this one. Alright. Um, I This one right here depends on what deal you get on it. But I think almost, almost this one might be better. Because you don't need to work, use any batteries. This one's a lot lighter. This is heavier. This one uses batteries. This has 20 discs. This has 10 discs. It'd be nice if this came with a 20 disc, but it only comes with a 10. Alright? But I think the, um, the Praxis is probably better than this one. This one costs more, too. Alright? Alright, the final one that I'm going to talk about is the one that I'm actually carrying right now. And that one is... Uh, this is called... Uh, this one's called the uh, Ravonix 360. This is my favorite one. Um, it doesn't come with a stock. Like this thing right here, this thing on the, in the back end, it doesn't come with it. I just put it on there from, from one of the other um, Praxis ones because I like to use the stock. So it's basically just this white part right here. This one right here um, basically is how it chambers and then it shoots out, you know. So it comes, you basically chamber it like this, and then you shoot, okay, chamber, let me see, it's getting stuck a little bit, yeah, you chamber it and shoot like this, alright, so it works really nice, and then also what you could do also is, um, Basically hold that trigger down, and you could just reload it like one by one like this. It, it, it does a, it revolves, it's like a cylinder that revolves, and you could just load it up like this. It's not too hard to load it up, so that's the nice thing about it, right? And what else you could do, you could hold on to this trigger like this, and just keep, you know, cocking this back and forth, and then the ammo will keep coming out, alright? So, I like this one. This one also shoots the farthest out of all of them. It shoots the farthest. It's the most powerful. That's another thing that I like about it. Another thing I like about it, it holds 30. It holds 30, 30 bullets. And another thing is, you know, it's easy to load. So then when you need to reload, you just basically just keep loading it like this. You don't need to take the whole magazine out. So this one out of all of them is my favorite one that I use. So this would probably be my, this would be my favorite. You know, and then uh, my second favorite would probably be, um, I like this Vigilon right here because um, you can load it very easily and it's very tactical, you know, like you can move very easy and flow just like a real handgun, like you can move, you can move very nice right with this. This one's kind of, is big, it's kind of hard to cut corners with this big one, but this one right here is, you can move very, very well with this. So I like this one the most. And I like this one the second most. 
And then the third, um, I would say my, my third favorite would be this Praxis right here. I really like this one. And then uh, the Lumitron is pretty much the same as the Praxis. So after that one, I'd say that the next best would be this one. Right here, it holds 40 discs. This one's very good. And then finally, um, the last one would be this one. The only problem that I didn't like about this is just the, the automatic aspect. But it's nice that it has 20, 20 here, and then you can put another magazine right there. And it's very like nice, like it's solid. But it's just, I don't like the automatic thing. That's the, that's the only reason why I don't like about this one. And the fact that you gotta use all these batteries. All right, so, you know, the Vortex line, which is uh, basically, the Vortex are the discs. That's what I highly recommend, is the, the disc ones. All right, the ones that use the disc, it, you know, it, if you get hit in the face, it stings a little bit. I got hit in the eye one time, and it, it does hurt a little bit, but you recover. But I think it's a very good thing. It's almost like paintballing. You take it more serious. It's not like something that you don't feel anything. Like, if you get hit in the face, you feel it. So that encourages you to not get shot and to make sure that you get out and you hide or you get out of the way. So that's how real firearms training should be. You know, it's a little bit serious. Not, not, you know, it should hurt just a little bit. You know, so I really enjoy playing these guns. You know, it's very fun and it's safe at the same time. And I highly recommend it. I feel that this needs to be integrated into all sorts of uh, martial arts training and uh, self-defense training because um, we're talking about the real dangers out there and that, that, that's talking about firearms. And we need to be familiar with the firearms and we need to know how to basically adequ adequately prepare against these firearms. And this is a great way to train for that. All right. So I hope this video helped you out in uh, ba basically helping you make a better purchasing decision when you come to um, when it comes to like firearms training with the Nerf products.